the history of Waiter Robot. Where does it all begin? In 1983, a restaurant called Tu Panda Deli in Pasadena, California, owned by Shane Hayashi, has become the first ever restaurant that used Waiter Robot according to the Guinness Book of World Records. They used two waiter robots that named Temo R1 and Temo R2 to serve the foods to the customers. So, let's take a look at the footage of them that documented back then. So, let's start with the first benefit of Waiter Robot. First, Waiter Robot has no time off. Unlike human workers, robots do not get sick that they need to have sick lives. They can work all day as long as their battery supply is enough. But make sure to charge the Waiter Robot's battery before opening the restaurant to prevent the Waiter Robot to run out of battery in the middle of the service. So, for the second benefit of Waiter Robot is that they have consistent quality service. This is because the Waiter Robots are programmed to serve the customers with the best service. This is also to ensure the customers feel satisfied while eating there. Plus, Waiter Robot, they don't get tired. So, that's the main reason why they have consistent service. So, for the last benefit of Waiter Robot is that number 3. Waiter robot can save money. This is because once the owner purchases the waiter robot, the owner can use the waiter robot for a long time. They don't need to hire a lot of workers too. It is also known to be a good investment for the food business. This is because it can bring more profit since the customers keep coming back to them because the service is very fast, efficient and very good. Diagram shows the entire system of the waiter robot. The first part in the system is the power distribution unit. The power distribution unit will be responsible to power up the devices from any time it is needed. DC battery system consisting combination of switch mode and DC power converter. This DC battery system is used to power the drive motor. DC motors convert current electrical energy into mechanical energy. It used because of the small size and high energy output. It also used to control wheels of the robot. Voltage regulator. This circuit supplies stable DC voltage to other units. Two regulators required to supply the microcontroller and the module. Next is control unit. The control unit will be responsible for receiving and processing of data. Line tractor sensor circuit. Two central sensors are used to set the waiter robot on the line. Two side sensors are used for the table so that robot can count the table. By using wireless transceivers, the command sent to the robot via wireless link. The last part is communication unit. The communication unit will be responsible for conveying of information from the control unit to the respective components. Manual bar. Menu bar are consist of LCD, Bluetooth module and keypad. To have wireless communication between the customers, kitchen staff with the waiter robot, the Bluetooth module is used. The customer will be provided with a tracker so that the waiter robot sensors can detect their table to serve food. Keypad interface to allow the customer to select the orders. The selected orders will display at LCD. LCD interface. The 
display the option of window to the face the keypad so that the customer can see and select menu easily. Bluetooth module utilized as communication device covering range of 10 meters order can send wirelessly to the reception through Bluetooth log diagram of menu bar buzzer a small speaker that can produce simple sounds can be used to provide alert or feedback to people interacting with the robot can play songs The way the robot is programmed to simplify and speed up ordering in restaurants and help the restaurant employees work. As you can see in the video, the waiter robot helps to guide the customer to a table. A waiter robot adopts an innovative bionic design where the bionic design is just perfect from the height of the machine body to the screen tip and to the shape curve. The waiter robot can be interacted with voice interaction or by touch interaction. Voice comments can be used to move the robot or to interact with other software on the robot. Such interactions between the robot and the employee where the employee is sent the customer's order to the table by clicking the interface on the waiter robot screen. The robot also has a tray so it can be used for delivering food to the table. The tray detection is to notify the waiter robot that the food is picked up completely before it goes to other stations. The waiter robot will deliver the customer's order accurately to the specific table as it equipped with program that positions and navigate the waiter robot in the restaurant scenarios. In pursuit of higher safety, a waiter robot is equipped with 3D sensors and a new modular chassis. It can stop at any angle and move away as soon as it encounters obstacles. Each robot can directly communicate with any robot in the same network and quickly calculate and make decisions. Such design reduces the requirement for the network, reduces a central computing knot that requires high computing power, and is closer to the interaction mechanism among people. A waiter robot can make delivery with no direct contact, which is suitable for all kinds of setting and distribution needs, whether it is in a restaurant, office, hospital, or supermarket.